Now, let's go on and this time we are going to solve questions 9 to 13 and they are true false not given okay now please attend this attentively and you will be crystal clear about true false not given type of questions okay let's make a start in true false not given when you read the question you should know that this is the portion of the question which i need to check for true false or not given i tell you how Question number nine, during the third phase of construction, underline third phase, sandstone slabs were placed in both the outer areas and the middle of the stone hinge side. Now, if they did it at the third phase, then right answer is true. If they did this like construction, sandstone slabs were placed in both the outer areas and the middle uh, of the stonehenge side if they did it in the second stage first stage or fourth stage answer is false and if they don't tell us which stage was that when they actually did the sandstone slabs were placed in both the outer areas and the middle if they don't tell us this which stage then answer is not given now stage or phase will decide the answer so let's go back and we look for third phase third phase third phase second page first paragraph first line found it now we are going to check what are we going to check we are going to check stone sandstone slabs were placed in both the outer areas and the middle of stonehenge side i'm reading it please second page first paragraph first line the third phase of construction took place around 2000 BCE. At this point, sandstone slabs known as sarsins were arranged onto outer crescent or ring. Now, this is right. Let's read on. Some were assembled into the iconic three-piece structures called trillions that stand tall in the center of Stonehenge. Outer and center both things they mentioned and that was third phase what will be the answer the answer is true well done so third phase decided this thing good job you may send me your answers type your answers and send them to me to what's uh, this chat option of go to application now we've got question number 10 there is scientific proof now scientific if there is scientific proof answer is going to be true if there is no proof answer will be false right there is scientific proof that the blue stone stood in the same spot until approximately 1600 bce now underline 1600 bce okay so question number 10 same paragraph i'm reading it from third last line always read it from the last full stop so that you understand that now uh, radiocarbon dating has revealed radiocarbon dating has revealed that work continued at Stonehenge until roughly 1600 BCE with the blue stones in particular being repositioned multiple times so blue stone repositioned multiple times now what's the question the question is there is a scientific proof that the blue stone stood in the same spot no repositioned multiple times so the answer is false well done that's good Bajia. good job all right you need to write full word alina full word false don't write t or f or ng write full word true false not given okay question number 11 john aubrey claims Aubrey's claim about Stonehenge was supported by 20th century finding now listen if his claim was supported by 20th century finding investigation answer is true if they condemned like you know if, if they said he was wrong right his claim is not supported then it is false and if they don't tell us whether the claim was supported or the claim was disapproved then it is not given now let's look for john aubrey's claim and all that exactly second page second paragraph and i'm reading it from the beginning 
But who were the builders of Stonehenge in the 17th century? Archaeologist John Aubrey made the claim that Stonehenge was the work of Druids who had important religious, judicial and political roles in Celtic society. This theory was widely popularized by the antiquarian William Stuckley who had unearthed primitive graves at the site even today. Now, this is important. Even today, people who identify as modern Druids continue to gather at Stonehenge for the summer solstice. However, in the mid-20th century, radiocarbon dating demonstrated that Stonehenge stood more than 1000 years before the cells inhabited the region. Now, what's the question? 20th century radiocarbon dating demonstrated Stonehenge. It means the 20th century thing, this is supported by. It did not support. It said something different. Just read it again. However, however means opposite thing. Whenever you read however, however means opposite thing. In the mid 20th century, radiocarbon dating demonstrated that Stonehenge stood more than 1000 years before the cells. Now, his belief, Aubrey, John Aubrey's belief was it was the cells who did it. But the radiocarbon said it was 1000 years before the cells. So, what should be the answer? Answer is false. It's not not given. It is actually false. Just check it again. You know what? Yeah, he's saying the opposite thing. Okay, the answer is false and the reason is over here they say supported by 20th century. But when they say however and then they said Stonehenge was there before Celtics, it means they did not support him. I mean because his claim was disapproved, that is why this answer is false. All right. Now, let's go on. So, correct answer for question number 11 is false. Now, we've got question number 12. Objects discovered, good. Objects discovered at Stonehenge seem to indicate that it was constructed by a number of different groups of people. Now, imagine they discovered some objects from there and those objects showed that uh, it was constructed. It means Stonehenge was constructed by a number of different group of people. Now, let's go back. It's the third paragraph where they talk about objects and objects are bones and all that. So, please follow me. Second page, third paragraph. I'm reading it from the beginning. Many modern historians and archaeologists now agree that several distinct tribes of people okay several distinct tribes of people contributed to stonehenge each undertaking a different phase of its construction bones tools and other artifacts found on the site seem to support this hypothesis so question what's the question Objects discovered at Stonehenge seem to indicate that it was constructed by a number of different group of people. And what have they used? Several distinct tribes of people. So, answer is true. Question number 12. Correct answer is true. Now, let's go on. Question number 13. Criticism. Good job. Criticism of Gerald Hawkins theory about the Stonehenge has come mainly from other astronomers. Now, if the criticism of Gerald Hawkins theory about Stonehenge, if it has come from other astronomers, answer is true. If it has come from someone else, not astronomers, answer is false. And if they don't tell us the source where it has come from, if they don't tell us the source, then it is not given. Now, please come to last paragraph. Second last paragraph and we are reading it from fourth last line. Second last paragraph, fourth last line. While his theory has received a considerable amount of attention over the decades, critics maintain that Stonehenge's builders 
probably lack the knowledge necessary to predict such events or that England's dense cloud cover would have obscured their view of the skies. Any mention of astronomers? Anything like that? No. So the answer is not given. Question number 13, correct answer is not given. Okay.